Over the years, hundreds among hundreds of FNAF merch has been released from different brands. Whether it be Funko, Sanchi, or good stuff, there's never been a shortage of it. But these brands have left a lot to be desired. Funko, for the most part, have made mediocre merch, Sanchi hasn't had the chance to make much merch. And good stuff. Just look at this. But recently, starting back in December 2021, two merchandise companies have emerged and the things they make are quite promising. These two brands are U2s and Hex. I would say that Funko tries their best when making FNAF merch, even if the results don't look that appealing. The merch they make specifically for FNAF, such as action figures and mystery menace, actually do look decent. Not much can be said for the pops and plushies, though. The problem with Funko merchandise is that it feels artificial, as if they're only doing it for the money. The two brands I'm talking about today are the complete opposite, with U2's often answering the community's questions and hex being made by one of the literal biggest FNAF fans ever. Let me explain what I mean. U2's, as of writing this, has released 11 pieces of official FNAF merch, excluding YouTubers. This is, most definitely, not even close to everything they're planning on releasing. There are plans for a plushy wave, Fazbear fan verse wave, even miscellaneous figures such as Purple Guy and Circus Baby. They're so engaged in the community, and take so much pride in what they're doing, unlike Funko, who just make these stupid pops which sell for obscene prices online. And if figurines aren't your thing, well then there's also. Hex. Hex is a brand created by Daco, which has a story that you should definitely check out, as I'll be putting both U2's and Hex's websites in the description of this video. Back in February, Daco collaborated with Scott to make a brand of plushies that are the most creative thing to come out of FNAF in a long time. Each part of the plush is connected with magnets, meaning they can be disconnected and mixed up to make combos like these. This gives them more reusability, and makes them more than something you could just put on display. So far, six of these plushies have launched, the classic four, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. There are also plans for a third wave, and even Mangle, in the future. People do have complaints about the price, but I would personally say it's worth it to own amazingly detailed plush like these. Now, I've spent this whole video praising Hex and U2s and bashing Funko continuously, but I think it's safe to say even they have improved. Slightly. This might sound hypocritical, but the last two official waves they've launched have actually been pretty good. Back in October of last year, Funko released a Curse of Dreadbear line, and while some of the figures were met with hate, some, like Dreadbear and Captain Foxy, were met with massive praise and people considered it to be a renaissance for the Funko FNAF brand. Then, this year, they launched a FNAF special delivery wave which was primarily met with huge praise, again, with exceptions. I'd like to say Funko are aware of what their fans want now, but sadly, they're going back to making recolors with a tie-dye wave being released later this year. God damn it, Funko. In conclusion, FNAF merch seems to be making an improvement when in the hands of Hex and U2s. Funko will always be the main company to produce it, but that in no way means all their merch is good. It's great Scott has decided to branch out to other companies. If he hadn't, we would have missed out on some amazing merch. That's all I have to say for now. What do you guys think about these brands? What are your opinions on the upcoming U2s FNAF figures? What do you think about Hex Wave 3? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video, and be sure to like and subscribe.